Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, help praise the Lord, everyone that is listening to the sound of my voice. If you are listening to me right now, I want you to shout hallelujah and praise the name of the Lord for yourself and for me as well and for the pastor and for our senior pastor in the house. And our daddy and our mommy just praise the name of the Lord and bless God for their lives. Bless the name of the Lord. Give him praise. Give me adoration. He is worthy to be praised. Our God is worthy to be praised. Let's exalt him. Let us exalt in the name of the Lord. God is worthy to, is worthy to be praised. Oh, yes, he's worthy to be praised. We give you praise, O oh Lord. We give you adoration, O oh Lord. We exalt you, O oh Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you because of your Because of what that you have been doing, we thank you have done us of what you are doing at the moment. We thank you because of what you are yet to do. Our expectation that is not going to be cut off. We bless you. We give you praise. We give you adoration. Blessed be your holy name, King of Glory. Blessed be your holy name, Everlasting Father. Blessed be your holy name, Everlasting Father. We thank you. We give you praise. Blessed be your holy name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. I want to use this opportunity to appreciate our pastor, our senior pastor, at the and the only reverend in the house, Reverend Abayo, me as well. You are blessed abundantly. And all the pastors and all the ministers and those that are working behind the scene, may the Lord God Almighty will continue to bless you and be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And those of you that are listening to the sound of my, my voice, this very moment, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Every member of the church of DJIC, you are blessed. I say you are blessed, abundantly blessed. I am blessed. Tell yourself that you are blessed. And I am blessed in the name of Jesus. For the fact that you are listening to the sound of my voice this morning, Because in the last four hours ago, I was able to talk. Hallelujah. I was just, has the end come? But God said the end has not come. That my end has not come. My leg was shaking, body, temperature, everything was just, they just came in a multitude hmm, to attack my enemy. But the Lord might saw me to continue to be with you in the name of Jesus, that you not, we will not live in sorrow upon sorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. I say we will not live in sorrow upon sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, there will be no bad news. In the name of Jesus, there will be no bad news from anyone. In the name of Jesus, God Almighty will help us and guide us perfect extra throughout the days of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This morning, you are welcome to God of breakthrough. You are welcome to God of breakthrough. Everything that pertains to goodness and godliness is your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everything that pertains to goodness and godliness, I said they are your portion in the name of Jesus. God will bless you and will bring abundant blessing your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we go into our message of today, I believe that you are going to be blessed. Everyone that is listening to the sound of my voice, I said you will be blessed abundantly. You will not remain the same. In the name of Jesus Christ, that's it. Song that choir used to sing, 
Do not let me go the same way I came. Bless me, O oh God, with your mighty hand. Bless me, O oh God, with your mighty hand. Do not let me go. The same. Way. Oh Lord, do not let me go. The same way I came. Bless me with your hands. Oh Lord, do not let me go. The same way I came. Bless me with your hands. Jesus, do not let me go the same way I came. Bless me with your hand, Jesus. God will bless you with his hand. And as you came this morning, you will not go back, remain the same. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say you will not go back, remain the same. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. My message this morning is courage for the weary. Courage for, hallelujah. Courage for the weary. Courage for the weary. Many, many people have been weary. Many people have been weary in this journey of life. And I want to tell you that do not be weary. I want to encourage you this very day, this very day. It came to me as a word of encouragement. Courage for those who are weary. Courage for those who are suffering. Courage for those who are going back. Courage for those who are actually not following the Lord consistently. Courage for you. Courage for the weary. Courage for the weary. As I read to you from Galatians chapter 6, I read to you from Galatians chapter 6, 9 and 10. Let us not be they're doing those be weary shall reap if we think not as we have therefore opportunity let us do good unto all men let us do good unto all men most especially unto them who are of the household of those that are Christians, those that are household of faith. Remember, the Bible makes us to understand that you be, we should not be weary in well-doing for all our members, in due season, because you might think that what you are doing now, you are just doing it for nothing. You are not doing it for nothing. You are doing it for the glory of God to be manifest. You are doing it for the name of the Lord to be glorified. And the Bible says, do not be weary in well-doing. Do not be weary in well-doing for in due season. Very shortly. He said, you will repeat, if you faint not. If you faint not. As we have therefore opportunity. As we therefore have opportunity. Let us do good unto all men. Unto all men, most especially unto those who are of the household of faith. Hallelujah. We need to encourage one another. Weariness is in the life of many today. Weary, it means when people don't find pleasure in living. For their life, I was just meeting a brother sometimes long ago, and we were sitting in the, in the very big, uh, big, very big uh, uh, congregation. And we sat together, break, and we were to go to another session. 
But he just looked and looked and said, bro, what happened? You are just looking tomorrow. He said, what happened to you? He told me that, ah, bro, ah, what are we doing here? That was what he said to me. He said, what are we, what are we doing here? What do we come, why do we come to this? We are just born and we walk and walk and do whatever, whatever, and we die. And that, um, you know, let us not be weary in well doing. Let us not be weary in well doing. And in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. If we faint not, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto the household of faith. So, weary. When people don't find pleasure in living, weariness, it means when people don't find pleasure in living, the life that we are living is no longer, is no longer interested. Life that you are so better. We really admit that spiritual crisis that proceed the communion with God, communion with divinity and trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And we are talking about courage for the weary, this very particular act. And I pray God Almighty will help us to, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when members of the church are weary, where members of the church are weary and they're not they're no longer interested in doing the work of God effectively as they ought to do, you know, willingness started coming in. So I'm encouraging you this afternoon, I'm encouraging you this morning that God Almighty will encourage you by Himself in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as such a situation like this that we are living in, don't be, we don't need to become a lone ranger. I think I've said that before, but they don't hear me. You don't need to become a lone ranger. You don't need to become a lone ranger in the midst, in the midst of the cloud. Ranger in the midst of the cloud. It's very important that you don't become a lone ranger in the midst of cloud. Of, of cloud. It is the right connected, you know, and to be expressive. Be expressive. Express your mind. Express your express your thoughts. Talk to people about your situation. Talk to people about your situation. Somebody you trust can depend on. Somebody you can just say yes, and I can depend on this person. I can trust this person, and therefore connect with the woman of God and with the man of God in the house. And God Almighty will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Talk out your problem. Your problem. Don't die alone. Don't die alone you don't need to die now you have a long life to live so it's very important what you are doing or what you are thinking about does not what does not worth it does not worth thinking about what you are thinking about that is making some people's head loose does not worth thinking about thinking about everything can turn somebody head loose thinking about everything all by yourself I haven't got, a, I, I, I've not got, I've not got grandchildren. Some people, they say, oh, they haven't got a grandchildren and their children supposed to have marriage and they're not married. And they said they, 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 they were expecting a grandchildren. Some people are expect, expecting grandchildren. Some, some people are expecting more children. All those, your expectation. All those, your expectation. It will come to materialization in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So don't let, it that be more. Sometimes these some people they talk to themselves on the street. They just be talking to themselves on the street. And it's not that they're on the phone and they'll be walking up and down. I've met some people like that, and they will be talking on the street. Hey, and my sister, what happened? Hey, yes, don't, don't, don't worry about me. You know, this country, this and that. Don't worry about me. 
just go your own way. I want to evangelize the person. Say, don't worry, leave me alone. Just leave me alone and do it for themselves. Hallelujah. And God Almighty will help us in the name of Jesus. Depression has started setting in into some people's mind. So depression, depression, don't allow it to happen at a time like this. At a time like this, there are a lot of things that's going through the mind of people. There are a lot of things that are, that are going on in the mind of many. So when will this pandemic end? That is one of the questions. When, when will this pandemic end? When will the situation, you know, back to normal before when is it going to come back to normal many people were losing their job very fast the parents that at one them going back to we're thinking about our wife we're thinking about our parents grandparents and children and i'm talking about our job our house and our finances and you know crumbling financial you know are crumbling and we can't pay our bills education is no longer what it used to be online studies has become the order of the day online studies has become the order of the day some people are complaining church activity has reduced church activities has reduced Church premises were closing down in a large number during this pandemic within the last one year. Churches are closing down faster, faster, faster. But we thank God, God is still upholding us. God is still encouraging us. God will continue to encourage us and continue to be with us in the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you that are listening to the sound of my voice this afternoon or this very particular morning, at this very particular hour, if you have not been coming to church, start coming to church. Start coming to church from 9 to 10 so that your brain, your mind can be in you. Your brain and your mind can be renewed. So it is very important that become a ranger. I was so happy last Sunday. We saw lots, many people who have not been coming to church within the last six months. Now the church is open, you know, keep on coming. We have many, many, many people you know, came to church last Sunday. So keep on coming. All those who have not been coming, please start coming, start coming. The Lord God Almighty will help us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God give me this message that I want to ask that you give message for the weary, courage for the weary. And therefore those that are weary and they don't want to be coming to church, start coming to church. And Almighty will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, brethren, fellowship together, you know, has become so, you know, something, you know, not, 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 not fellowshipping again. We can't fellowship together again as we used to be. Religion gathering has become something else. Christian gets together. It has become, you know, doubtful. People are doubtful of if I come to this congregation, would there be anything that will happen? No, nothing will happen to you. God Almighty will keep you and will keep us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God will keep us so long we keep to the rules and regulation by the government. You know, nothing of evil, nothing of evil will happen to us in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, planning for future has become a blank. We can't plan, really plan. People cannot really plan for their future. So what? do you think is what you are thinking about does not worth thinking about. What you are thinking about does not worth thinking about. Don't allow your hair to get loose. In the midst of all this, thank God for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says, thank God for our Lord Jesus Christ. But No, thank God, Jesus Christ. First, Second Corinthians chapter two, verse fourteen. Thank God that make it makes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. You will be triumph in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
You are not alone in the journey of life. Whatever you are thinking about, I say you are not alone in the journey of life. Jesus Christ is with you. I say Jesus Christ is with you. In the journey of life, when Jesus Christ was in the boat, with the disciples, and he was sleeping. They thought Jesus Christ was sleeping, and he was sleeping, as, as a matter of fact, and flood came into the boat, and Simon, you know, wake, woke up uh, Jesus Christ. He said, Jesus Christ, uh -uh, don't you care that we perish? Care you not that we perish? Don't you, don't you, you are not, you are, you are not, you are no longer caring for us. You want us to perish in this very particular pandemic that there was a flood inside the boat and the boat nearly just came yonder. So long Jesus Christ in the boat of your life, <laughs> your boat will not go yonder. I say your boat will not go sink in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ will up, woke up and he rebuked the wind and the wind obeyed him. And to the extent that they say, uh -uh, what manner of man is this? That the wind, that the wind and storm obeyed him. What manner of man is this? That the wind and storm obey him. So they were so surprised that, you know, God was with them. And I said from today, God is with you. Don't be weary. God is with you at all times, wherever you go, wherever you are, God is with you. Your boat will not go under in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the book of Ruth, chapter one, the Bible makes us to understand in that very particular book of, 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 of Ruth, chapter one from verse 19 to 20. Naomi was weary and distressed. Naomi was weary and distressed. She went back to, Beth, to Bethlehem with roots after the death of, the, of her husband and the two sons, hallelujah. They went for a grain of pasture. They went for a grain of pasture. But by the grace of God, by the grace of God, Ruth has to go back to Bethel. To, to Bethlehem, I have to go back to Bethlehem with Ruth after the death of the, the, the husband and the two sons. So the knot of her head nearly got loose. I mean Ruth, I mean uh, Naomi. Naomi, of her head nearly got loose because she said, Hey, this is no, no, no. don't call me Naomi. Don't call me Naomi. Don't call me Naomi. That is, it's not call me Mara. That is, my life has been chattered. That this, my life is a bitter lie. I've become a bitter lie. I went away with my husband. My husband died. I had two sons. They died. Why do you call me Naomi? He said, call me Mara. So the knot of her hair nearly got loose. Don't allow the not of your hair to get loose at this very particular time. You will not die young. I say you will not die young in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. But Ruth was a solace for her. Ruth became a solace for her, no matter how, no matter the situation, no matter the problems and circumstances going through. Somebody is always there. Somebody will always be there for you to be its solid, for you to be an encourager for you. And therefore, that is why the reason why you're supposed not to be a low ranger in the midst of everyone, in the midst of multitude in the church. And God Almighty will help us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. When I first came to this country, my head nearly got loose because everywhere is quiet. I don't understand this, why everywhere is quiet. And I live, I came from where you can see people every day. Like, you know, I live with so many people in, my, in our flats, boys and girls living together, our sisters, our cousins, you know, living together, our house where we come from work, we meet together. And every, when I now came all alone into this country, it was like I was in a desert all alone. It was the fellowship. It's a church that makes me to 
you know, you know, to be rejuvenized my life back again. Hallelujah. So, study and every time I have to be there every time you don't try to relate with people hallelujah and therefore brethren come to church and relate with brethren you know whatever you are talking and we are laughing together you know it goes a long way it goes a long way hallelujah and God Almighty will help us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ somebody will always be there for you somebody will always be there for you in all the way the case will be settled in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I say your case will be settled in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be connected. I say be connected. Be connected to somebody. Be connected to the woman of God in the church. Be connected to somebody in the household of faith. And I said you are not alone in this troubled life. In the troubled, you know, troubled, turbulent time. You are not alone. Jesus Christ is with you. Children of Israel, they thought they were alone. They were so weary. Hallelujah. Children of Israel, they were so weary when they got to the Red Sea. In Exodus chapter 14, verse 13 and 14, and they started talking against Moses. At that very particular time, they were talking against Moses. And Moses said to the people, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. A brethren, I'm telling you today, no matter the matter, no matter be afraid until and see the salvation of the Lord, which accomplish for you today, which it will accomplish for you today. Where are you, my morning? You will see the salvation of the Lord. For the Egyptian whom you see today. You will see them no more forever. He said he, he doesn't even know what is going to happen. Moses did not even know what God to God. The encouragement is don't be weary. God is going to show up. Moses didn't know where God is going to show up. He never knew. He's just encouraging them. He said, Don't be weary. You don't need to be, be afraid of these people. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish in your life today. For the Egyptian you see today, you will see them no more forever. And the Lord fight, you shall hold your peace. So, all these things that we are talking, talking, peace of God is going to come. Peace of God is coming in your life, and the Lord will fight for you. I say the Lord will fight for you, my brother. I say the Lord will fight for you in that your situation in the name of Jesus Christ. And God Almighty fought for them. He fought for them. He fought for them today. Problems and difficulties. In whatever to do, in the name of Jesus Christ, COVID-19 will not see the end of you in the name of Jesus Christ. I say COVID-19 will not see the end of you. Anything that is associated with that problem cannot, you know, get you down. It will not get you down. I say it will not get you down. Remember Jehoshaphat. Hallelujah. You remember Jehoshaphat in Chronicles, Second Chronicles chapter 20. When everything was collapsing on him and three nations or three communities, they came against Jehoshaphat. <laughs> Hallelujah. They came against Jehoshaphat. He was weary. He doesn't know what to do at the first, at first instance. But at the end of it all, the Lord God Almighty fought for him. God Almighty fought for him. He was confused at the first. You might be confused at before today. I said, you might be confused before today. Don't be confused. Do not be confused. Stand still. Trust in the Lord. I said, trust in the Lord. Don't be willing. <laughs> God will support you all the way. I said, God Almighty will support you all the way in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, sometimes we doubt God. And it's not good for us to doubt God. What? 
why you pray. What's the purpose? When you are still doubting God. So it's better you don't even pray at all. But when you pray and commit everything into God's hand, you will discover God Almighty will see you through. So when you pray and commit everything into God's hand, don't be weary. Don't be despondent. Don't be weary. Don't be despondent. Just focus on God. The one that you pray to will see you through. The one you pray to will see you through. Everything seems not working as you expected. You are not alone. I've said that again and again. I said you are not a, alone in the journey of life. God always, God is always there for you. God is always there for you. One day, hallelujah. One day, I was asking Jesus. He was asking the Savior. He said, Jesus, see, we've left everything. That is in Matthew chapter 19, verse 27. He said, Jesus, okay, we're gonna, <clears throat> look, at, look, at, look at us. We, 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 we've been following you all this time. We have been following you. What shall be, what shall it be our gain? What shall we, what, what is it going to be our benefit? <laughs> you don't know, that is what people, some people are looking for today. Looking for what they're going to get in the church. Looking for what the benefit and the, and the, and the, and the benefit. No, God Almighty will bless you exceptionally. Looking at what they're going to get. Serve the Lord with all your heart, serve the Lord with all your might, and do his will at all times. Hallelujah. See, we have left all, and we are following you. Therefore, what shall we have? What's going to be our benefit? Don't allow willingness to set in heart. You follow the Lord all the days of you like a play fuel is and you can't come back to london fuel you cannot get you to london and the fuel was is about to finish what will you do You can go on into your safety nation. I say you are, you know, safety destination in the mighty name of Christ. And they do a safety destination in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God Almighty will be with us and will continue to bless us abundantly in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to read to you from Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8 from verse 35. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Hallelujah. The Bible makes us understand there. Romans chapter 8 from verse 35. Romans chapter 8 from verse 35. The Bible says, Who shall separate us? <laughs> who? He said, Who? Shall separate us. That's fine. He said, Who shall separate us? From the love of who shall separate you? You tell yourself, Who is going to separate me from the love of Christ? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, no matter how the trouble or tribulation might be, who shall tribulation or distress or persecution? or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sorrow. What shall separate you from the love of God? Pandemic or no pandemic? Pandemic COVID-19 or no COVID-19? Coronavirus or no coronavirus? What shall separate us? Who shall separate us from the law of Christ? Shall tribulation? Persecution, distresses, famine, or nakedness, or peril, or so as it is written. 
as it is written, for your sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for slaughter. You are already accounted as sheep for slaughter. In the kingdom of God, whatsoever happens, that you will follow him to the end. That is what it means. You will follow Jesus Christ to the end and your food will not be shaken in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 37, it said, yet in all these things, in all these things, we are more than a conqueror. We are more than conqueror through him who loved us, through him, through God, through Jesus, who loved us, for I am persuaded. <laughs> say, I am persuaded. Brethren, I want you to say, I am persuaded. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, irrespective of whatever happens, for neither death nor life, nor angel nor principalities nor power, irrespective of principalities and power, that might be eluding you, that might be chasing you in the night or chasing you in your dream or whatever it is that is, you know, making you to be weary. He said, irrespective of whatever it is, the angel or principalities or power, not things present or things to come that you have not even seen. What shall separate us from the love of God? Neither, nor higher or death, nor any other three things shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Hallelujah. Nothing, I say nothing, nothing, nothing shall separate you. Nothing shall separate you from the love of Christ. Who loves you? Who delivers you? Who saves your life? Who delivers you from, you know, for, for, from addiction? Who says nothing shall separate you from the love of Christ? You will follow him to the end. I said you will follow him to the end in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who shall separate you from the love of Christ? Who shall separate you from the love of Christ? I will read it. What is trouble? What is the problem? What is the situation? What are the calamity? What are the sicknesses? What are God Almighty will see you through in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ? I say He will see you through. I say He will see you through in the name in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we go to the Lord in prayer at this very particular time, the power of God is going to descend upon you. He's going to descend upon your life and God will grant you favor and God will grant you favor and will recover everything that you have lost in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is well with you. It is well with your soul. It is well with your mind. In the name of Jesus, I just encourage you today, don't be weary. Don't be weary. I said, don't be weary. Brother, sisters, don't be weary. Keep on coming to the church. Keep on serving, keep on serving the Lord. You're not serving any man. You're not serving any man. You are serving God. You are serving God. Serve the Lord to the end. Tell yourself, begin to tell yourself that I want to, you know, serve the Lord, that I will serve the Lord and I will not be weary. Tell them yourself, begin to pray. Let us begin to pray that I will not be weary. I will not be weary. I will not be weary in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not be weary. I will not be weary in the name of Jesus. I want you to say it again and again, that I will not be weary. I will not be, be weary. Weariness will not set in. Weariness will not set in. I want you to pray. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord and say, Lord, I will not go weary in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I will not go weary in the name of Jesus Christ. I will follow through to the end. I will follow Jesus Christ to the end in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He that follow him to the end, he said that those are the ones that will be saved. Let us call let us upon the name of the Lord that you will follow him to the end. You will not go weary. You will not go weary. You will not be weary in the journey of life. In the journey of life. In the journey as a Christian. In your journey as a Christian. That I will not go weary. 
as a Christian. I will not go weary. I will serve him to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. I will serve him to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. God Almighty will uphold me. Say, God Almighty, uphold me to the end. 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 In the name of Jesus. Uphold me to the end. In the name of Jesus. Uphold me to the end. Nothing shall separate me from the love of Christ. Nothing shall separate me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to take that prayer point again. Nothing shall separate me from the love of God. Nothing shall separate me from the love of Christ. Tribulation, Christ, tribulation, tribulation will not separate me from the love of Christ. Distresses will not, will not take me away from the presence of God. Persecution will not separate from the love of Christ. Famine will not separate me from the love of Christ. Family will not take me away from his presence. He will not take me away from his presence. Perry, Saul will not have any chance in my life in the name of Jesus. Perry will not, will not cause setting and allow it to go into my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. I want you to pray and pray that this verses will not take we not love of Christ have any chance we have we not have any chance upon my life in the name of Jesus Christ I will speak through in the name of Jesus Christ God Almighty will see me through in the name of Jesus Almighty will see me through he will see me through and he will see you through in the name of Jesus I want you to pray I want you to pray call upon the name of the Lord and say call upon the name of the Lord in Jesus mighty and victorious name we pray hallelujah in jesus name we pray say i recover my destiny from marine kingdom i want you to pray that you recover all oh, your destiny from marine kingdom i want you to pray that you recover you recover you recover I recover, you recover your destiny. That I recover my destiny. I recover my destiny from Marine Kingdom in the name of Jesus. I recover my destiny. I recover my destiny from Marine Kingdom in the name of Jesus. I recover my destiny from Marine Kingdom in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. I want you to pray that you recover. You will recover your blessings. You recover your destiny. You recover all your destiny that have been, have been seized. By Marine Kingdom, that you are recovering them, that you will recover them, that you will recover them in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will recover them in the name. I want you to pray that you will recover them in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty and victorious name. We pray, Amen. I want you to pray again. I restore my glory and blessing. I restore my glory. And blessing from God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to pray that prayer. I restore my glory and blessing from God. My blessing is restored from God. My blessing and glory is restored. It's restored in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be to be a wasted in the I will not be a wasted in the video. In the name of Jesus, I will not be frustrated. And I will not be frustrated. I refuse to be frustrated. I refuse to be a waste. I refuse to be a waste. I refuse to be frustrated. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray and call upon the name of the Lord. I want you to pray and call upon the name of the Lord and say, Lord, I refuse to be wasted. I refuse to be frustrated. I refuse to be wasted. I refuse to be frustrated. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. I want you to take this prayer again. I want you to take this prayer again. Very important for us to take this prayer again. I refuse to eat the bread of sorrow. Hallelujah. I want you to pray that you refuse to eat the bread of sorrow. You refuse to drink the water of affliction. I want you to take that two prayers point. I refuse 
to eat the bread of sorrow. I refuse to eat the bread of sorrow. I refuse to drink the water of afflictions. I refuse to eat the bread of sorrow. I refuse to drink the water of affliction. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to pray. I want you to pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. I will win where others are being defeated. Hallelujah. Where others are being defeated, you are going to be a winner. I said you are going to be a winner. I said you are going to be a winner. Where other people are going down, you are going to you will go up. You will go up. In the name of Jesus, I said you will go up. Where other people are going down, you will succeed. Where other people are failing, you will succeed. Where other people are failing, you will succeed. Our ministry will just succeed. Our church will succeed. Irrespective of what is happening, our ministry will succeed. Will restore all the abundance and source and goodness and favor in the name of Jesus Christ. He will restore it back to us, restore it back to us in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty and victorious name. We pray. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. From this moment, we are victorious. I say from this moment, you are victorious. You will not eat the bread of sorrow. You will not eat the bread of sorrow. You will not drink the drinks. They will not be using any food to beg you and say, ah, it to be, that is not going to be your portion. In the name of Jesus, God will uphold you and God will stand by you all the time in the name of Jesus Christ. Every weariness is canceled out from your life of Christ. Not break you from love of God. Nothing will separate you from the love of Christ. You will serve the Lord to the end. You will do his will to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty and victorious name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have something to give to the Lord, I want you to just get in yourself, prepare for what you have heard this afternoon. Bless you abundantly. As a God Almighty, pay your tithes, your offering, and also any gift that you already had in mind to give to the Lord. Give to the Lord and you shall be blessed. And your giving is to appreciate what the Lord has been doing in your life. I said your giving is not needed, but just to appreciate that God gave me a job, gave me a life, I can breathe around in appreciation of what the Lord is doing in your life. And I pray God Almighty will bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have your water, your water there, I want to pray into that water right now. Just take the bottle of your water, take the bottle of your water, and I want to pray on it. And God Almighty, through the anointing of God upon my life, through the power that bestowed upon me by our senior pastor at Tinika and Adesanya, that water will become the blood of Jesus that will heal every disease, that will destroy every power that are negating the power of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall, shall we pray or into that bottle of water? God Almighty, we make that water to become the blood of Jesus that will check away everything that are not of the will of God from your life in the name of Jesus. 
it has been sickness, it has been afflictions, in whatever it is, God Almighty, we heal you through that water in the name of Jesus Christ, and the name of the Lord will be glorified. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty and victorious name, we pray. Until I come your way again, until our sinner pastor come your way again, be blessed and continue to be blessed abundantly. Don't be weary. Serve the Lord. Do his will all the days of your life. And the name of the Lord to be glorified. It is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.